Today, we're talking about bookends. Now, bookends aren't just some pieces of home decor for keeping your books from falling off the shelf. You can choose strong bookends for your life to keep you stable and supported too. In today's video, you'll learn how to perfectly balance yourself with the very best morning and nighttime routines. Let's go. As a former book editor, I use a lot of publishing analogies in my coaching framework. And one of my clients' favorite strategies is using bookends. So let's talk about that. What is bookending? Like two bookends on either side of a shelf, your personal bookends will hold you steady, keep you balanced, and prevent you from falling over. It's a really simple concept. Your bookends appear at the beginning and at the end of your day. And bookends can be placed in any area of your life where you need more balance and stability. Here's how to achieve balance in your life and why it's so important. Balance refers to this equilibrium across all aspects of your life. And you might have heard balance being referred to as the Goldilocks principle. Like that blonde haired girl eating porridge, we want to make sure the different things in your life are not too much, not too little, but balanced just right. I'm a Buddhist, and for those of you who have studied Buddhism, you will recognize this as the middle path. We don't want to live a life full of extravagance and decadence, and we don't want to live a life full of minimalism and deprivation. We want the middle path. That's where you find true happiness and balance. Like many young ladies, when I was a kid, I was in gymnastics. And as someone who's always been unusually short, and I hold my weight in the lower part of my body, can you guess what my gymnastic event was? It was the balance beam. To be an exceptional athlete on the balance beam, you are constantly shifting your weight, making these tiny, tiny little adjustments to keep your balance. You'll need to apply this constant shifting and adjusting to your life as you choose your bookends. To stay balanced, I want you to always fill your cup whenever you start to feel empty. Add positive actions to your life so you can keep that equilibrium. Okay, now that we know why balance is so important, let's talk about your bookends. And bookends for you are going to be your morning and nighttime routines. All right, so what's in a good morning routine? In my experience, a great morning routine has three things. Number one, you gradually prepare yourself for whatever is to come in your day. And you can do this morning prep whether you have just 10 minutes or even a full hour. Many of my clients use the miracle morning technique, and I'll leave a link to the book below. I definitely recommend checking it out. The Miracle Morning has a very simple six-part technique that you can use to balance yourself every morning. Number two, a great morning routine transitions you from sleep to conscious work. So try whatever gets you going in the morning. That might be drinking a cup of coffee or doing a meditation or dancing around to some music. And number three, a great morning routine pumps you up for your day. I recommend a very small three-point to-do list having some kind of connection to other people during the day, and doing something fun just for you. Those are the components of a great morning routine. But now let's talk about what you should include in your nighttime routine. Again, your perfect nighttime routine will include three things. Number one, it gradually prepares you for this restorative time. I heard this advice from Gretchen Rubin, where instead of setting an alarm for when she wants to go to sleep, she sets a bedtime alarm for an hour ahead of that. When that bedtime alarm goes off, she knows she's got a full hour to do all the little things she needs to do before she actually wants to be sleeping. So for you, that slow and steady process might be brushing your teeth or showering or laying out your clothes for the next day. Whatever you do, it's a gradual, steady process until sleep. You're not jumping into bed and expecting to fall asleep immediately. And number two, your perfect nighttime routine is going to transition you from the busyness of the day to sleep. You might want to put on your comfiest pajamas or make sure that your bedroom doesn't have any clutter in it. 
your bedroom should really be your sanctuary. And I definitely recommend only using your bed for sleep and sex. So no watching movies or eating crackers in bed. We wanna train your body and your mind to expect only sleep or sex when you're in bed. And number three, your perfect nighttime routine is going to set you up to have pleasant dreams instead of ruminating about all the stuff you didn't get done during the day. You know exactly what I'm talking about. How many times have you just laid in bed thinking about all the things that didn't happen in the day or the embarrassing things that did happen? That is no way to get a restful night's sleep. Instead, your nighttime routine might include some kind of gratitude practice where you think about the things that did go well and the things you are grateful for. Then you go to sleep thinking about all those happy thoughts instead of all the negativity. Those are examples of three things to include in your morning routine and three things to include in your nighttime routine. Now, I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment below and share what's in your morning routine and your nighttime routine. And do your choices make you feel balanced? Are they the perfect bookends? Hey there, before we continue, for those of you who are new, I'm Sage Grayson, and I'm a former book editor turned life coach. I'm a life editor and so are you. Please go ahead and click that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my life editing strategies to help you get stuff done while still having fun. Okay, are we ready to set up our bookends? Let's do it. Here are some great examples of morning and nighttime routines. Pick the ones that resonate with you and give yourself permission to change things up whenever you're feeling out of balance. All right, for all of you spiritual folks out there, you might want to start your day with some meditation and then end your day with a gratitude practice at night. Here's a way to bookend some of your health goals. In the morning, you might eat a healthy breakfast that sets you up for success. And then at night, you might do some meal planning and meal prepping or even like cutting up your veggies for the next day. You can even bookend your exercise. In the morning, you might wake up and have a lot of energy, so you might wanna do like a cardio routine. And then at night, as you're winding down, perhaps you do some yoga or stretching. And of course, I have bookends for my reading time. For me, I start every day by reading some kind of business book or productivity book to help me with my work. And then at night, I read another book, a fun book, just for me. How about some cleaning bookends? In the morning, you might do some self-cleaning where you shower and you do your hair and paint your nails. And then at night, you can do some home cleaning, like doing a 10-minute cleanup or scrubbing down your kitchen sink so everything is nice and pristine in the morning. You can even use bookends for adding more connection to your life. Maybe in the morning, you text your sister and then at night, you call your mom. Or in the morning, you spend time talking to your kids over breakfast. And then at night, you and your spouse have some adults only time. All right, last example. You can bookend your day by having a no screen time in the morning and at night. So no TV, no phones, no computers, no tablets or anything like that in the morning and at night. It doesn't have to be long. I mean, even 10 minutes of not looking at your phone still counts. That's it. This week, decide what you want in your morning and nighttime routines for optimal energy and productivity. These are your bookends, so find that perfect balance. First, determine the areas of your life that need a bit more stability. Then choose an action for your morning bookend to start the day positively. And then choose an evening bookend to end your day peacefully. And give yourself permission to play around and adjust and edit those bookends whenever you feel like you need a bit more balance. Remember to leave a comment and please share the bookends that you set up for your perfectly balanced life. Want more? Watch this video next to learn how to use every minute of your day wisely.